for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with the bad cheese as always. We are in July. That's right. I've been waiting for July to drop, for July to come. Happy Fourth of July weekend, all the people out there celebrating. But I've been waiting for July because basically this is the month that training camp opens up. In about two weeks or a little over two weeks, July 19th, I think, was the earliest I saw that rookie mini camps were opening up for some teams. So we're going to have some NFL news dropping pretty soon. So I was, I'm was i excited to start bringing you guys some more Madden 24 content, which is basically the plan leading up to Madden 24. In today's video, I played the, uh, the beta for about a week, and I wanted to share with you guys the biggest changes that I noticed that aren't necessarily being uh, talked about in some of the, you know, the gameplay trailers and stuff like that being dropped. I mean, I know they're talking about new features, but I'm going to go over things that look like they're the most overpowered, things that have changed the most, things you should be aware of when Madden 24 drops to give you guys a big advantage uh, when the game comes out. Woo! But as always, if you guys want to see more Madden 24 content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And I'm going to start off with what people probably want to hear, which is going to be the glitchiest stuff in Madden 24. And uh, write this stuff down because I've been right. Every single year I've seen you know trailers and I've called these things out. Number one, the biggest glitch that's going to return to Madden 24 is going to be swerve catching. That's going to be back in a big way, especially against man coverage. In Madden 24, they said that they wanted to get rid of the psychic defender, which is basically DBs making plays on balls that they can't see. So they probably lowered the awareness to get that effect of defensive players, especially in man coverage, because if you're running a deep route, and a DB has to turn their back and run with a receiver, they're very easily controlled. I mean, all you have to do is move just a little bit, and the DB will just completely go off its track. And it's just so easy to, to basically uh, control DBs deep in man coverage, which is something that I hope that they tune a little bit before Madden 24 comes out. But at the end of the day, you're going to just have to click on. you got to click on and, 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 <laughs> and fight for these balls. It's really not that hard. Next up, Lamar Jackson is probably the best running back in the game. I'm not saying I'm not one of these people that thinks he's a running back and know he's a quarterback. But what I'm saying is I use a lot of different running backs in this game in the beta. And it's hard to explain, but Lamar Jackson felt like the most explosive and elusive runner out of all of them. Which I know once again is going to annoy a lot of people. And the Ravens are going to be a very good team this year because they do have receivers now. And years past they didn't have receivers. This year they probably have three good four good receivers easily, not even not even counting the tight end. Uh, so at the you know this is this is going to be one of the top teams used and Lamar Jackson feels absolutely broken. He feels like the fastest and he feels like he just feels like his juke moves are just on another level from a lot of other players. The second best running back I found as far as the same type of elusiveness was Christian McCaffrey, who's probably the best running back in the league, and he didn't feel anywhere near as fast. Another one is you can leave the pocket this year. If you want to just roll out to buy time, if you want to actually just run with the quarterback, like like I said with Lamar Jackson, you can do that. It's much easier to roll out in passing. Uh, I think that, you know, obviously last year they kind of went overboard a little bit uh, with basically any time you leave the pocket, you get an immediate block shed from a defensive end. And I think over the year that kind of got toned down or it got nerfed a little bit uh, to the point now where it's kind of back the way it was in Madden 24, only there is no, um, you know, whatever that was. A skate artist is not prevalent in the game. So that's going to be the only thing. I mean, it's not going to be that bad, but you can definitely run around a lot more. So you're going to need speed going after the quarterbacks. And you're going to need the QB contain because QB contains work pretty good, uh, to, especially in that scenario. You will get your t same typical type of instant block shed if you QB contain your defensive ends. It's like there are things, but there are ways to, to kind of counter them and make them not too bad. Uh, running the ball, especially to the outside this year, is pretty OP. To me, running the ball, um, and when they, they talked about it in a lot of the gameplay trailers and stuff like that, um, that uh, you know, running the ball might be the uh, the meta this year. It's really hard to say, but it's a lot easier to run the ball, in my opinion, especially if you have a good run play. And there are a lot of good run plays that were added to the game, things like pin-pull sweeps, uh, crack tosses. These are all basically, you know, that's your typical, like a pinball sweep in a lot of scenarios is basically just like a toss play, but they changed the name and the targeting of the lineman pulling out to get the blocks is just much better. Like they actually hit the mark uh, and they, and, and linemen actually matter. Like linemen this year, uh, and it's to me, that's one of the best features that I like the most, especially since I'm an Eagles fan. Anybody that's a fan of a team that has a good line and they really appreciate their linemen, it kind of it sucks that like when it, when when Madden comes out, they don't really get any 
Um, you know, there's just no importance to them. There's no value to them in years past. In reality, you can have the best line or the worst line if you're a passer. All you need them to do is get in the way for a few seconds. It really You don't really see any impact from them, even though a lot of times in real life they're like the best players on the team. Well, in this year's man, if you have a star lineman, you're going to see they're going to be popping up a lot because they just be, they're just if, if you run, like I said, like one of these pin-pull sweeps or a crack toss, and your, your lineman uh, swings out and gets on a cornerback, you're going to see him just completely blow up that cornerback and create huge run lanes for you that you wouldn't notice in, in previous years. One thing I did notice, though, is that even though they're way better in run blocking and way more useful in run blocking, I'm still seeing like unrealistic results when it comes to pass protection. And I, once again, I'm going to go back to the Eagles. Lane Johnson, when, and, you know, just, I noticed him running out and just pancaking safeties, uh, cornerbacks, any anybody in the secondary, he would just just toss them out of the club and it was like a really cool animation and it, and it would hype you up and it would, it would it would make you feel the importance of that lineman that you didn't get in years past but at the same time you got guys like lane johnson who hasn't allowed a sack in the nfl in real life in, in the last two two seasons but for some reason he's getting beat complete consistently around the edge by like random dudes in pass pro it still feels like it's too easy to get around the edge now getting to the playbooks there's a lot of new plays i, I just mentioned a few the uh, the pin pull you know sweeps and the the, the crack tosses, which is basically like the quick toss from years past. There's a lot of new run plays. There's a lot of new passing formations. They kind of took away quite a few passing formations. So your favorite playbooks might look very different, especially if you run like New Orleans, like I've been running the last couple of years. They got rid of the gun tight offset TE. They got rid of the uh, the gun empty that I put out uh, the PA or the Saints fork from. I forget the name of it. They're not in the playbook this year. A lot of really good formations were taken out. They did replace them with a couple of good formations, and I do plan on New Orleans being my very first ebook. Uh, but the best news is if you do use New Orleans' current playbook in Madden 23, you can also use it in Madden 24. You just have to use the NFL Live version. That's one thing that I noticed and I was pretty happy about is that the new version of the Saints is definitely changed. Although they do still have like some of the better formations, like it still has the the gun stack wide flex, which is going to be one of my first offenses that I use. Uh, but like I said, they got rid of a lot of good formations as well. But like I said, if you're not ready to move on to the new version of the Saints, which is good, you can just basically set the NFL Live version on, and you can still use the exact same playbook from last year, which is totally cool. Uh, the Saints has been one of the best playbooks in the game for like the last 10 years, and that's mostly because of Sean Payton. So the next thing that I have is that the Broncos, who have Sean Payton now, might have the best playbook in the game. I'm calling it early now. That's going to be one of my first ebooks that I put out. That playbook looks probably slightly better than the Saints. And I think maybe that's the reason that they kind of nerfed the Saints is so that they can give Sean Payton the best playbook in the game once again in Denver. But, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of great plays there. They still have a gun tight in their playbook, too, by the way, in, in Denver, which is which is nice. But uh, to me, I mean, those are going to be the first two playbooks that I use and put out at the end of the day um, as they're both very good playbooks in Madden 24. So if you're, if you're following my channel and you want to keep using the same books, I'm going to have a lot of offenses from both of those. Now, on defense, moving over to defense, a lot less notes here. Um, number one, I'm going to say that the deep zone coverages are much better. If you're in, no matter what coverage you're in, if you're in a cover three, the cornerbacks are a lot harder to beat. The single high safety is a lot smarter, and he plays the area a lot wider. Cover two safeties, which was like really bad last year. Cover two is really broken. They do the same thing. They cover, if, if they're covering half the field, they cover half the field. Like they do a much better job of covering those large spaces. And if there's a deep, you know, crosser coming to their area, they'll follow it. Like there's, the awareness is so much higher on these, these deep zones as far as the idea of, of if there's an, you know, they, they just sense if a receiver's coming to their area from a much further away distance and if there isn't they'll follow and man match kind of you know very tightly to the crossers in the area which is very nice so those defenses are much improved i think zone might be the way to go one of the zones that is much you know worse is cover four match that is broken that is um they they that like they went back a couple years on code or something because last year's cover four match was actually really good this year's in madden 24 it just sucks like it's so easy to glitch out you, you you'll just get you could just have uh receivers running corner routes and like the tight end will just get left like wide open running down the field or the running back will get left wide open just running a streak it's really bad so you can't use that even in, in run coverage which i've said for years now that cover four is the best as far as run defense goes because the safeties you know if you watch my channel you might know this but typically in cover four the safeties play the run first 
they're the first ones to the ball if uh, somebody runs like an inside zone or something like that. It doesn't even do that in cover four match. It does do that in cover four regular, though, cover four drop, like you would see in a 3-4 odd or something like that, or your, your typical dollar formation. That cover four might be the best coverage in the game because the safeties still play the run, and you get really good zone coverage behind it, similar to like I was saying. I mean, that's one of the harder defenses to hit a one-play touchdown against in, the, in Madden 24. It's going to be one of the hardest defenses to basically play against as far as deep passing. Because, like I said, the deep coverages are that much improved. They do play that much better. And you actually have the safety playing the run. So I'm calling right now. That might be the meta defense early on in Madden 24. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be subscribed. Hit the like button and let me in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos that I put out discussing Madden 24 as a topic, I'll have them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.